in the shelter, I'm, uh, I got my little, uh, my little go hike. Alcohol is still going. I want to make sure it's blooming good and it's running good. I hadn't used it in a while. I usually keep it hanging right here, but um, I'm going to be using it in the uh, middle of February. I plan to wake up. It should be about 10 degrees, 9 degrees when I wake up. So there will be residue of a big fire out there from our club. And I'll be up in the woods, though. And I'll be in a tarp shelter. I will put a cot in there, not my hammock. And I'll be fine, maybe if I want a quick cup. I can also uh, you know, heat it up in the residue of, that's left over from the big fire we have at night. Uh, but I wanted to get this going, make sure it was good. One, one of my alcohol stoves, I put some viscous liquid in there and it kind of messed it up and I want to make sure it wasn't this one. But this one seems to be alright. It has a simmering and all kinds of accessories and stuff, so I'll... Uh, I'll use that. I took this out, this out, this stuff a little damp because I I got one little leak some leak here somewhere, and uh, stuff just got damped and got wet. I keep it in that uh, nice German pouch there, but um, just covering this a little bit. But I shored everything everything up, you know, a little better. Tremendous rain, tremendous uh, wind, and we've had a couple snow and ice storms give you an example how crazy it is here pity anyone ever tries to take this country it's just like 9 10 degrees now it's 51 so i'm like sweating here you know but uh that's the way it goes but um let me get back to you let me just get set up a little i'm gonna use my stanley oil and brew which I'm going to use out there which I have used out there and put it in a big fire make some fresh coffee with the French press and it's good stuff but I, I wanted to burn this just to uh, and that's the yellow uh, let's see this is still there. here's the heat there it's been laying around a little bit I had some left over so but burning pretty good but um, I'll get back to you so anyways I got this uh Stanley Boil and Brew, big capacity. I'm gonna put it on there, I put a little water in there. I might have some coffee right now, just a little bit. I wanna to put too much water in there, but I wanna, you can see the flame there. And it fits on there pretty good. So I'm gonna, be using this and I have used it when I go to my winter fest at my club we're up in the woods there I sleep outside in a tarp in a hammock close it up with uh, hammock and hammocks that broke close it up a little bit kerosene lantern uh, and usually I go to the fire we have a, like residue from big fire we have the night big bonfire so it, usually in the morning you go out there and there's a couple guys out there standing next so we get it going again. I usually use this quick coffee, then we'll get some coffee going on the inside. There's no electrician, nothing in there, but we have a wood stove and some gas stoves. But yeah, this is this is this comes with this set here. This boil and brew. Top comes off. I got my coffee in there. I gotta rinse this little baby out too. I'll take it back in the house and I got my polypropylene uh cup from my other Stanley sets and I like them some people don't like them I like them a lot polypropylene is not too bad and uh, be fine so I'm just gonna boil this up you could you know because it's not a big fire I could put this uh, you know it's not like over a flaming campfire I can just put the top on there if I want but uh, yeah I got this and uh, so I just want to make sure my go hike stove was working good I don't know how much I didn't put a lot of fuel in there so there. I have some shipboard down here and I also have um, uh, you know a lot of pine needles from the pine tree over there and I could just dump stuff out there but, uh, but uh, that's what I'm doing here 
just lay this stuff down here for now. And let's see how this is going. It's blooming pretty good. I don't know if there's a lot of fuel left, but it'd be enough for a cup of coffee. I had it on there good. But we have a compensator for that. Where, where did I put it now? Oh, here it is. Just put a little cross piece on there too. And it works fine. I also have this, uh, this cross piece for the alcohol. But I keep it all together. It has a simmer ring and everything else. But we'll see if it's enough to do what I have to do so I can have my coffee. So I'll let this go. It looks like it's burning good. So I want to use the alcohol stove because the gas stove it, it may not work good um it'll be too cold and uh, i don't feel like sleeping with the canister but i put this stuff out here just to dry out a little because uh it was just a little it's not wet but it's a little damp because we i had a, a small leak in here we had a tremendous amount of wind and rain so and in snow snowstorms and sleet and everything else so uh crazy at 10 degrees now it's 51. Yeah, I'm like I'm like sweating here, man. There's no heat on here, so but it's just like spring, you know. This is you know, I can go bare back here. But uh yeah, so in here, oh, oh I do have some uh oh boy, there's a loose. Alright, I do have some uh Mount Hagen coffee. <clears throat> I'm gonna use that. Zip one's all right. I'm gonna drink it black. Um, usually when I'm outside, I drink it black. But uh, it's a little damp too. It's a little cloth I had in there. I'll so take that, get rid of that. Let's dry that out. Tea bag, old tea bag hanging up here. Some hooks. Yeah, we got tea, got more coffee, birch bark, but uh, I just figured I'd come and check things out with all the storms we had, to, you know, like just a little leak over in this section, like right in here. Um, that'd be pretty small, but uh, I just shored that up a little bit. We'll put this coffee in here. See if there's any more in there. Uh, oiled up and cleaned my uh, canteen cup. You've seen that in my last video that I was in here. What else we got here? What the hell that is? Dried prune. That's got to go. Yeah. And I'm going to leave this open too, so just to uh, dry everything out. It's nice and dry down there, so I'll keep it keep it down over here in that little bench there. And uh, we'll keep this out. Hopefully, it'll be okay. This is just about, I don't know, it's still, still going enough, but um, I'll let it burn out. It does seal. I do have a simmer ring and everything for it, but I want to use this system when I'm camping out when it's cold, wake up, it's cold. I can go over by the fire, but I'll just stay in my shelter, maybe make a cup of coffee or something before I go up and make some more coffee. Sounds like it's... Yeah. That'd be ready, but I'll let it burn out. And uh, a lot of wind and rain, so it's a little damp in the ashes in the stove. I left this open, but I did have a, a, a covering on the stove, uh, the pipe, but with all the wind and everything else. But other than that, all done, 
down there is real nice and dry and it's okay. Say in the spring I should shore it up a little more and get, check it out. But uh, I think this has been up five years now, I'm not sure. But I just put regular tarps instead of can. I still have some canvas left over. And all around the stove is uh, is welding blanket. And I have a jack too. But uh, what the hell that is. Yep. But I think uh, I think it went out finally, and that's that was my goal. And uh, you could see it's steaming very nice. It's good. We'll put one in here. Uh, I don't keep wooden utensils in here because of the moisture and whatever. I do have my little Bowie knife over there and my pocket knife on me. And I have a whole EDC set up on me. But I'm not gonna... Oh, this bloody thing. Oh, here we go. Ooh. Definitely hot. Let's see if it's strong enough. Bad. Probably put about this much in there. It's a big cup, though. I, I would say it's good with the one, but uh, I'm gonna uh, kick it up with the two. drinking it out of here, you know? I mean, I could pour it in here if I want, but uh, it's fine, man. Even better, I like, I like strong coffee. But yeah, so I'm gonna, you know, I'll take this back in, make sure I got this kit, take the go hike and everything with me, and uh, I will use this setup, and then I'll probably make some, uh, you know, with the, I'll use the French press on the fire outside there, too. Then we'll go inside and we'll have the regular perk coffee. But, uh, so I'm just checking my stove. It seemed pretty good. Um, took a little while to bloom. I hadn't used it in a while. But, um, let me see if it's still hot. It's pretty good. Still a little, still a little warm. I'll let it cool off and I'll, uh, Put it back in its uh, case. I'll take it with me. Put it in with with this kit, and I'll be good for the winter camp out in the middle of February. Um, probably be snow on the ground, and looks tentatively long range forecast. Hard to tell. Might get some snow when I wake up in the morning. Fresh snow. We have a mountain man camp out in uh, March 1st. Should be pretty good. So this Quinny Eskimo, air rod. I'm just gonna still work good. Just a little go hike stove. Put the little cross piece on there. Boost it up. Now you can turn this over if you want to, you know, like that way, uh, which is even better if you want. Let's put this down a second, but uh, that worked fine, and I should be sheltered where I am. So see how it looks this way. I've, I've used it this way, so. 
yeah, when it's it's like this, you got a good distance right there also. So that's pretty good. Um, and the stuff will come out the side, but, but like this, it burns very nice, so. So it's Quinn Yesmo Fair Route, I'm just in the shelter checking it out, shoring it up a little bit. Um, got a little more rain coming tonight. Um, peace, freedom. Keep your eyes in the sky. Take care, man.